Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today we're going to talk about Giga. So just a couple of weeks after Tesla announced a multi-billion investment in Giga Nevada, Arduino just announced the Arduino Giga as well. Apart from the name they don't have anything in common, definitely not the multi-billion budget and definitely not the size. But let's take a look why Arduino made this move and if it is as clever as Tesla's move. The Arduino Giga is available around 68 euros, but of course it depends on the country where you are located. The Arduino Giga is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable. Even though Arduino took a while to introduce Wi-Fi to its models, it's not the only one. There's the Arduino Uno Wi-Fi, which comes roughly 46 euros. And there's even an Arduino Nano that's Wi-Fi capable, which comes at around 21 euros. So in case you're only familiar with the standard models, you may wonder about the high prices. There are cheaper versions, like the Arduino Mega, which is not directly comparable to the Arduino Giga, but at least it's a similar form factor. But the Arduino Mega is not Wi-Fi capable. The most classy Arduino Uno is also not Wi-Fi capable. The Arduino Nano is as well not Wi-Fi capable. Of course there are ways to connect those boards to Wi-Fi, but for this you always need an external module. So in case you want to connect to Wi-Fi and you want to get cheap, Arduino is definitely not the way to go. On the lower price end we definitely have options like the ESP8266 from Espressive, in this case as a Note MCU version, which comes at around 4 euros, normally even less. Of course you might argue that the ESP8266 is not very powerful, but there is also an ESP32 version, which is available just below 7 euros. So in case you want to get cheap, you probably go for an ESP model by Espressive. But since the Arduino Giga is now aiming for the other end, let's take a look on the next best competitor, which is probably the Raspberry Pi. Of course you can argue the Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer and cannot be compared to any microcontrollers like the Arduinos, but why not? If we take a look on the price tag, the Raspberry Pi Model 4B comes at a price of 60 euros. Of course there are different versions of the Raspberry Pi and it can get more expensive if you want to add more flash storage but for the base version which is already quite powerful you can start from 60 euros. Before we go ahead I want to mention that those prices are all based on what you normally pay. Right now in 2023 the chip crisis is still not over and especially high-end chips like the Raspberry Pi's one come at a very high price and it's very unpredictable what you pay for a Raspberry Pi. But let's just assume the off-the-shelf prices. So let's focus a bit more on the high-end versions of the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. So the first difference is of course the price. The Arduino Giga is even more expensive than the Raspberry Pi. But what's about the performance? For everyone in the makerspace, the pins are quite vital. And even from this picture, we can see right away that the Arduino Giga is way superior in terms of the number of pins compared to the Raspberry Pi. So the Arduino Giga comes with 75 digital pins and the Raspberry Pi with only 26 digital pins. In case you think this is a big difference, take a look on the analog pins. Because the Arduino Giga comes with 12 analog pins, while the Raspberry Pi has exactly zero analog pins. Of course, it's not a problem. You can always connect an ADC, an analog digital converter to the Raspberry Pi and get as many analog pins as you want. And of course, also a resolution as you want, but right off the shelf, you get zero. But let's take a closer look on the performance. Even so Arduino calls this model Giga, it only comes with two megabyte internal storage. The Raspberry Pi comes with zero gigabyte by default, but with a micro SD card slot, which will accept up to 128 gigabytes of storage. And there's even more. Since you have quite fast ports, you can connect an external hard drive and add terabytes of storage in case you need it for media or whatever. So from this perspective, it's already clear that the Arduino is focusing on a completely different use case rather than the Raspberry Pi. While the Arduino is focusing on pins and analog capability, the Raspberry Pi can be used as a media center as well. But the performance gap will not stop here. The Giga comes with a tiny one megabyte of flash storage, while the Raspberry Pi comes with up to eight gigabytes. Of course, the price will be higher for the eight gig version, but the two gig version, the smallest one that's still in production, there was a one gig version before, they eventually stopped it. So the two gig version is now the smallest one. This is the version you can get for 60 euros. But let's take a look on the processing unit. The Giga comes now with a 32-bit dual-core processing unit, which is a first for Arduino, 
while the Raspberry Pi is already at 64-bit quad-core processing unit all as a system on a chip version. And now let's take a look on the speed. While the Giga comes with 240 or 480 megahertz, the Raspberry Pi would really earn the Giga in the name because its processing unit comes at 1.5 gigahertz. But there's more. While Arduino claims that you can now connect a 1024 by 768 pixel screen, Raspberry Pi provides two times 4K monitors connected via micro HDMI and there's another display port where you can connect an 800 by 480 pixel Raspberry Pi touchscreen for example. So if you max out everything on the Raspberry Pi you have two times a 4K screen and another small touchscreen. But beside the pins there are more ports we should take a look on. The Arduino Giga comes now with USB-C and USB-A. While the USB-C port is used to power the whole board, the USB-A port is used to connect any accessories. You still have to connect your Arduino to your computer to use the Arduino IDE for which you can also use the USB-C port. Well, let's take a look on the Raspberry Pi. We have USB-C for power supply. We have four USB-A ports. Two of them are USB-2 and two of them are USB-3. And beside that, we also have a gigabit Ethernet port. So another way to connect the Raspberry Pi to the internet. So overall, we can easily tell that the Arduino Giga is way superior if we take a look on the pins, digital as well as analog, but everything else, the Raspberry Pi is way superior. So I really don't know where Arduino wants to go here or for which customer group they are aiming. Because if you want to do a big project where you need a lot of pins, you could still go for the Arduino Mega. Of course, you don't have the Wi-Fi capability, but in case you really need it, you could use an ESP in addition to connect to Wi-Fi. If you want to get to the internet really cheap, you could go for an ESP8266 or an ESP32. But in case you're ready to spend a lot of money for a lot of performance, you would definitely go for the Raspberry Pi, which comes at a cheaper price and way more performance. And this is not even incorporating the fact that the Raspberry Pi is a full computer. So you can play Minecraft on it, you can watch YouTube videos, you can use it as your media server. There are so much more capabilities and so much more possibilities for projects and use cases with the Raspberry Pi. So from what I can see here, I would say Arduino is of course providing a nice environment, but hardware-wise they are really stuck in the middle and I don't know where they want to go from here. So in case you want to have more Arduino microcontroller and microcomputer content, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and make sure to be subscribed for more content like this.